Hello everybody, in this one let's take a look at finding a limit that at first perhaps you think requires L'Hopital or something, but it actually doesn't. You can just use a trig identity instead to find it, so here is the limit. Imagine that we want to find the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over the sine of 4x. So let's work this out. First of all, notice something, that if you just try to plug in x equals 0 in this position right here, then that would give you the following. You would have sine of 2 times 0 over sine of 4 times 0. That's just the sine of 0 over the sine of 0, which is 0 over 0 <laughs> from the unit circle. That's usually where you get those values. And then, of course, you might know that this is d and e. Be careful, it's not equal to 1. Dividing by 0 is a very special case. So this is telling us that there's something else we can do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take sine of 4x and rewrite it. So here's a trig identity. Just from, let me remind you. It kind of looks like this. So I have that the sine of 2x is the same as 2 sine x cosine x. But a lot of these trig identities actually work even when things are a bit more complex than they appear to be. So what I mean specifically is this will also work when, for example, I take sine of 4x and I write it instead as the sine of 2 times 2x. So in other words, you want to be sure that this green 2 here, that's this 2. You see that? And then after that, whatever x happens to be, even if it's a more complex quantity like 2x, that's fine. So in other words, this 2x plays the role of the x in this one right here, you see? So that means we can rewrite this sine of 4x as follows. We can simply write here 2 sine of 2x, the 2x playing the role of x, and then cosine of 2x. That's useful because now we can rewrite our limit. So I'm going to have the limit as x approaches 0 of sine of 2x over now here i'm going to put 2 sine 2x over cosine 2x and i hope you see right here that we've got an advantage now which is this cancels off of that neatly enough leaving only a positive one in the top so let me finish this up i'm going to have in other words now the limit as x approaches zero of one divided by two cosine of 2x but this is perfect because you can just now plug 0 into the cosine and you're going to get a 1 out but let's take a look so what I have next then is the limit as x approaches 0 of 1 over 2 cosine 2x I'm just rewriting that now by direct substitution I can just plug 0 in for x I will have 1 over 2 cosine of 2 times 0, which is working perfectly for us here. And then I will have after that 1 over 2 cosine of 0. The cosine of 0, perhaps you know already from the unit circle, is simply 1. So this becomes 1 over 2 times 1, which is 1 half. And you know what? I've done a lot of hard work, so this is actually the answer, 1 half. I didn't have to differentiate. I just used a trig identity instead. This is all of our work from top to bottom. Thanks so much for watching. Please leave a like and subscribe. It all makes a difference. I'll see you in another video.